I work with Generation 5, and we are a national um, organization based in Oakland. And our work is really about ending child sexual abuse within five generations. Um, we do that by building the capacity of communities themselves to respond to, intervene in, and ultimately prevent child sexual abuse using um, liberatory approaches to violence. And the one that we really use is called transformative justice. And transformative justice is a liberatory approach that's about um, responding to current instances of violence while at the same time transforming the conditions that allow violence to happen in the first place. And we really believe that in order to prevent violence, we have to actually um, change and transform the conditions, the ways we treat each other, the things that we're taught that perpetuate violence in the first place. You don't have to be an activist to understand violence and to understand that, um, you know, as an oppressed person, uh, the state and state systems, particularly the police, um, often create more violence and harm in our communities. I think that, you know, as people of color, as queer people, as trans people, as people who on a regular basis experience violence and oppression, we have a really good understanding of where that violence and oppression comes from. And, you know, people may have different language for it, um, but it's pretty easy for people to understand that we need a different way. Even if you just look at and talk to people about, do the current systems that we have actually work? And most people will say, no, they don't work, right? It's really easy for us actually to go into communities and start having these conversations. And the majority of people we find say, yeah, we need something different because what we have doesn't work, you know? We also find that, you know, when we go into oppressed and marginalized communities, a lot of folks aren't calling the police because they know that bringing the police into their communities, into their lives, actually creates openings for more harm, you know? So it's not just activists and organizers, um, it's everyday community folks who are already in a place of not trusting the police, not wanting to call in law enforcement, and really understanding that those responses that we have don't work and often create more harm and chaos in their lives um, and don't often result in the outcome that they actually wanted. Typically we start people with a three-day training and what that is is really an introduction to child sexual abuse and transformative justice. So we do a lot of work on teaching people about what child sexual abuse is, how it happens, the different forms, um, a lot about trauma, right? So then the impact of child sexual abuse on us, both short term and long term, right? The impact of that trauma. Um, how people often will then navigate that trauma in ways that sometimes can be harmful or not in alignment with who they actually want to be in the world. And then we also do um, some ed education about offenders, right? People who do harm. And, you know, helping people really understand that um, offenders are created, not born, and that that is a behavior that can be transformed. Right, and that once somebody does harm doesn't mean that they will always do that. Right, and actually, we've been really trying to stay away from the language of offender, perpetrator, and really talk about people who offend or people who abuse so that we really get to understand that people aren't their behavior, right, and that people can shift because behavior can change and shift. And then the other piece of the training is really giving people an introduction to the politics, practices, and principles of transformative justice. And really getting them to look at um, how could they practice this in their own community, in their own context, in their own lives. What might need to change in terms of language or translation, right? What principles might be missing that might be crucial to their community? You know, so it's really an opportunity for people to get an introduction and then also to do some assessment of themselves around their own capacity to practice transformative justice.